question on where will I be at 25. This is a plan that will help me through financially and hopefully physically to be able to get to my short term and long term long term goals. I went to Shelton State for two years and then transferred for the University of Alabama for to finish my English English degree in education. I'm an English teacher at Tuscaloosa County Schools and I'm currently not married. Values that I have that go towards my goals, which I'll talk about in a minute, is I love the outdoors and I'm ready to explore it. Also, I'm a very savvy saver and don't like to waste my money at all. Therefore, I am at medium risk tolerance. My short term goal is to be able to pay for my deposit for my first month's rent at the apartment in the next year. The direct cost is $200 deposit and each month is $750. My opportunity cost would not be able to go out with my coworkers on the evenings anymore and I won't be able to buy new clothes for my cousin's wedding coming up. Uh, my midterm goal, which is my second goal, I want to be able to pay off my student loans by 30. From some savvy saving and being able to incorporate a lot of scholarships through my hard work and being on the president's list, I only have $1,500 to pay for my student loans. My opportunity cost for this goal would be I can't eat out like I normally do and I can't go visit my family as much as I want to or take as many trips. My long-term goal is to be able to take or give my family a trip to Ireland before my grandkids graduate college. Ireland is a place that I love to enjoy and visit and I went there for my senior trip. The direct cost is $12,968 for about a family of six. The opportunity I cost I would have for this trip would I can't go out with my friends as much. I can't take my kids on trips as much when they're little and I can't really buy more expensive things right now. This is my balance sheet. Right here you can see all my regular assets at an amount of $38,000 along with my wealth building assets which is $101,000. Uh, also my liabilities $30,000 which brings my net worth to $109,500. Here you see my cash flow statement, all my sources of income, which uh, totals at $82,624. Also, my spending categories, which uh, total my expenses at $14,000. So, my money available for investment is about $68,000. My insurance portfolio, auto coverage right now, all I'm getting is liability, bodily, and comprehension. In <laughs> comprehensive coverage because I am a very safe driver and I haven't been in a wreck in the past 10 years. Property insurance, I need renter's insurance for my apartment and personal liability just in case anything happens to my apartment while I am living there. Health insurance and disability. For health insurance, I have point of service insurance that way I have a primary physician is but I don't have to have a referral to go off other places just in case that I need it. Uh, Short-term disability insurance I have right now because I'm currently not married, but it covers a lengthy illness just in case I don't have, can't work, and a disabling in, injury, <laughs> a disabled injury, and I'm going to keep that until I have my first child. That way I can have it until the birth of a child, then I'll transfer over. Life insurance, I have no coverage right now because it doesn't make sense for me to have courage since I do live on my own. My investment plan. For my first goal is just a savings account because I want to have it within the next year. I already have $1,000 in my student account, which ends within the next year when I finally uh, close it out. I'll put aside 10% of my paycheck each month, and that way within the next year I'll be at my goal. The second goal I have is for paying off my uh, student loans. For my second goal, I will have a CD with a 2.03% rate and my new savings account after my student account closes. With $1,000 set aside for emergencies, I will transfer this into my CD. That way I cannot touch that $1,000. And after uh, about five years, when I am 30, I will have $1,106.
That way, I can't touch it until it's time for me to pay off my loans. And with my savings account, I can put them together and pay off all my loans for at age 30. My third goal, as a teacher, I will get retirement through my school system and my 403B. My current salary each year is 47, about $47,000. And I will contribute 20% of my salary each month into that plan. And around 65 when I retire, I will ha I'll have around $2,400,000. And at the end of retirement, I can give my family a trip to Ireland because I probably won't be able to go physically. But during this time, when I finally raise the money through my retirement fund, I can take that money out and be able to go with them if I'm able to. What I have learned from this project is that a goal without a plan is just a wish. You really have to put forth your effort and be able to plan financially and physically. That way you can meet your goals throughout your life. And five things that I've learned most is to save, save, save. Even when you want that new dress or you want uh, to go out to eat, you have to put that money forward. It's never too early to start because starting high school will give you even more money when you get to 25. Always make a budget. Budgeting allows you to put your money in certain places and know where it is going. It's not just the big bucks that hurt you. You can $20 yourself to death because $20 here, $20 there, it doesn't seem like much, but it adds up in the end. And you need to watch where your money flows because if you don't know where your money is going, you don't know what you can do with it. I'd like to thank you today for coming to my presentation of where I'll be at 25.